putting on the plaster over the earth bag walls. And the earth bags are inconsistent and they also, where the bags come together, there's a big uh, cavity there that needs to be filled. So our first coat is just to fill that cavity and kind of even out some of the contours of the between the bags. Up here, you see that we've got this metal lath and this is like what a stucco lath. And we put this up here because there's a wood frame wall on the top of the, the bond beam and you can't, the, the stucco's not gonna adhere, or the plaster's not gonna adhere to just wood. And then we put a paper over the wood and then this lath. And that way we can do our scratch coat first, and then we do our brown coat, and then our color coat right over that lath. This dry plaster is gonna soak up all the moisture out of our next coat. And so we, we have to wet down the, the wall so that it'll uh, adhere better. More sand. Okay, now that I got my sand, time to make some cob. We're doing a uh, one, one to, three to one ratio. One bucket of sand to a third of a bucket of clay. And then we're gonna add some water and some straw. Nice mix. The last time we didn't have our straw chopped. Now we do, and it's working much better. Where you do regular stucco work, where you stucco your house, the first coat would be called the scratch coat, the second coat would be called the brown coat and the third coat is called the color coat. And so I'm gonna use that terminology just because that's the terminology that I know. And so that, that first coat, we're actually, because of the earth bags, we're not covering the entire, we're not coating the entire bag. We're just doing probably about 50 to 60%. And then on the brown coat, we're actually bridging over the bags. This is what it looks like after we're done with the brown coat. And so there's, it's kind of rough and wavy because the bags, that's the way they are. When they stack, they're not perfectly straight. And it really adds some character to the wall, I think. I, I like it, especially in a greenhouse like this. And after the brown coat goes on, you can see there's these little chunks that are kind of sticking out. And I just take, just take something and kind of scrape the high spots off before you come back and do your color coat. And that way you don't get hung up on a big burr or something that's sticking out because this is not a precise science. Um, this was the side of a, like a quart size uh, milk jug. And I just cut it out and it's kind of nice because it's rounded over on all four sides. And I just used this, like so we would apply the color coat and, and then I use this to kind of smooth it out as opposed to a wooden trowel like this. Now if you were doing a flat wall, you could just use a wood trowel and, and screed it off and make it nice and flat, but this is not flat. And so something like this really makes it easy to get a nice finish and get the lines out. You don't want to have a, a trowel line that's a, a straight linear line in your plaster because unless, you know, I mean, you could decide whatever texture you want. Um, and, and create that, but I really enjoyed using this, so it's a nice tool. It's cheap too. <laughs> when you're doing natural plaster, it's really important to do a test mix. And so with each coat, what I like to do is, is try a, a section on the wall and, and see how it adheres, see how it sets up, and see how it is to work with. And we did the same thing with the color coat. So we did three parts of sand and it's a silica sand so it's a lighter color sand and then I got white Portland cement and we did uh, a half a scoop of the white Portland and then lime I did one scoop of lime and lime is white the white Portland is white of course and the silica sand tends to be a lot lighter so that's how we got this nice light color and then we we're able to wrap it around the wall now this was all 
Remember, this is concrete here, and so we just moistened down the wall before we applied the color so that it wouldn't suck all the moisture out of our color. And we're gonna do all of our concrete sills and bags and all that is gonna to blend together so then it'll look like one nice plastered wall rather than, you know, bags stacked up with concrete on top. This is really gonna to be nice when it's done. I'm looking forward to seeing it.